Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to teach you how you can increase your iron absorption. And uh, recently I've been studying articles on the internet, and I had a couple of nutritional analyses done on my blood. And for the iron, I came out at a level of 96 and acceptable was between 45 and 170. And so that was okay, but it was on the lower end of that, and, uh, you know, it could definitely be better. And also, just to throw something in, I was also fairly low, kind of right in the middle with zinc. You can see the black dot there in the center shows that where I came out in comparison to everybody else from the highest to the lowest that have taken this test with this company. So iron and zinc as far as vegetable quality foods are concerned are found in beans, legumes. And you know I learned a long time ago when I first started studying macrobiotics that you need to soak your beans and or grains and so that what that does is there's a substance in beans called phytic acid and that phytic acid it prevents your body from absorbing nutrients like iron and zinc and calcium etc and that when you reduce that phytic acid then you'll increase your absorption of the nutrients and um you know, for years I did that in the beginning and then I started learning more and more about cleansing and detoxing and I had all these life changes that, and, and my plate was full and so I stopped. I stopped soaking the beans and the, the grains and I just was tired or I didn't have enough time. For whatever reason, I didn't do it and so Today I was reading another article that talked about how the phytates actually have benefits. And so and those benefits of preventing the absorption of iron can actually be a benefit because iron has certain cancer quality uh, creating qualities when it binds to something. I don't remember exactly what the article said, but it talked about several different benefits of the phytates. And so then I thought, well, you know, Everything works in perfect succession, and everything is the way it's supposed to be, and the past is the past, and everything that's happened in the past is exactly what was supposed to have happened. And so, um, now though, now, I'm thinking better, I'm feeling better, and I'm desiring to increase my nutrient content in my blood and to start rebuilding instead of breaking down my body. And so it's just time for that now. And um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm soaking the beans and I'm not, they, they taste a lot better and I'm getting more protein. I, it, it tastes that way to me and uh, more nutrients and in six months I'll do another nutrient analysis and take a look at it again. So thanks so much. Oh wait, um, one other article that I read said that if you soak the beans in water at 140 degrees for three hours that will reduce the phytate content by about the same amount, 50 to 60 percent reduction, as if you were to soak the beans for 18 hours. Now what you do is you either soak the beans for a long time like that in cold water and then dump the water out, rinse the beans, fill it with water again and then cook, or you soak the beans in water at about 140 degrees and you might use the low temperature on a slow cooker <clears throat> for three hours once again, dump the water, rinse, dump the water, fill it with water again, and then cook. So that's what I have learned, and that will reduce the phytate content by 50 to 60 percent and, and radically increase the amount of absorption of uh, nutrients like calcium, zinc, iron, um, several other magnesium, I believe, that are in beans. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.